Hello everyone, my name is Pratham. I am from LearnCloud.Live. Today we are going to learn how to create a directory or tenant in Azure. For that we will visit to portal.azure.com. Then we will create directory in the Azure. Then we will follow this path by going to Azure Active Directory, Overview, Manage Tenant and create the tenant. Later on we will create the tenant as default and we will switch that. After that, if we want to clean up our tenants, which is already created in our environment, we can use this follow as cleanup resources and we will follow this way. We will log in the same directory or the subscription on Azure and then we will delete the required tenant. All right. See these things into the action. So I'll quickly jump into my browser. So this is my browser. I will log in over here portal dot Azure dot com and once I go over there I need to log in with my test account this is my test account I'm going with this one and now I'm going to log in with my password I do not want it as of now secured because this is recently created it is asking me to secure more so I do not want it I'll do it later on I do not want it as of now okay all right we are on the azure portal home page with my testing account let me get back to my slide so uh what we're doing now we are going to follow this we will create a uh, tenant in azure for that we need to follow this path so we need to open azure active directory once we log in we have to find out azure active directory it will be available beneath in azure services or we can find out azure active directory so you can see this is here you can click on it and as see uh, it mentioned overview we'll click on overview it's already there and now it's saying manage tenant so let me click on manage tenant this is the option okay and it's now saying create so uh, I can create that as you can see already there is one tenant default is created when we create a test account with Azure uh, This is the default account or this is the default directory. We get it. All right, so I'm gonna create a new one We have a two options as of now we can see Azure Active Directory and Azure Active Directory B2C Azure Active Directory B2C is directly for the business to customer wherein we wanted our customers to directly log in with their own other account. For example, they can use Facebook, Gmail or any other account to work directly as a business to customer. If you know more about B2C Azure Active Directory, please let me know in the comments. I can create a separate video on this one. As of now, I'm going with the Azure Active Directory. It's an IT requirement. So we will create Azure Active Directory. We'll click on next. As you can see, there is a two columns, which is organization name, initial domain name. For there, I'm providing a test name, which I can provide anything. So today is uh, uh, August 19. So I'll mention 19 August 2023 as my organization name. You can put anything as based upon your organization name okay and uh, we will put initial domain name so i do not have any initial domain name as of now i'll create it uh same my 19 august 2023 that's the domain name would be and if you can see this is the tenant would be after once we created the 19 august 2023 dot on microsoft.com so when we create a tenant into azure this will be the tenant we will get it all right over here i will choose india okay now we'll click on next validation is passed you can see i can now click on create it will check if i'm a robot or not i will provide this vdj vd6 3j submit It is taking time let me pause the video and come back to you once it is completed all right you can see tenant creation was successful click here to navigate to your new tenant 
if I click over here it will bring me directly to the tenant I have clicked on it okay if you can see over here the domain primary domain is showing 19 august 2023 on microsoft.com that is the domain its default domain and if i'm going to create any user right now i am able to create by the same domain which i just created so this one is my default one which i created initially now if i'm going to create a new user i will get this option i do not have any option to select the my uh, previous one all right so i if i create any user the domain will be this and this user will have to log in with this uh, with this domain only so for example if i create test one at 19 august 2023 on microsoft.com this is the domain the end user or the admin it admin has to log in all right uh, let me click back to home all right i'm on home page and now i need to find azure active directory here is my azure active directory i will click on manage tenants and you can see this one is added and it is being used as default okay now if i wanted to change it let me follow my sheet so we have com completed this now we have to create our tenant as default and switch it all right so right now it is already created as default because we just created this one suppose we wanted to def make a default one which is this one my previous one learn cloud i'll select this and i will make this tenant as default okay all right once it has been changed i will click on switch now i'll do it later on okay now let me quickly check if my default tenant has been changed from the previous one as a default one so you can see the default is learn cloud and this is the default tag now let me check quickly if i want to create any user am i able to create the default tenant user this is my previous tenant which is provided by the microsoft default when i created an account so let me check quickly the once i have changed it okay you can see this one is the default one it's showing me when i am going to create that i will have this option so in short if we wanted to uh, create particular user we have to switch our directory and we can create this way all right let me go back and let me show you the both tenants so now let me give you a real case scenario wherein i have this tenant has an it admin i have created the it admin will log in whatever the name i give i have given it so for this example i have given it test one at 19 august 2023 on microsoft.com i will provide this it admin further roles to create many more accounts and uh, provide it to the end user similarly in learn cloud when we have a it admin we will provide the necessary roles and it admin will log in with test one at learn cloud 827 on microsoft.com you can see both have the different accounts whenever they log in they log in on their own tenant so the tenant is different completely to each other let's see what we have covered so far and we have covered this much now we need to check how to clean up resources so make sure when we are going to clean up resources we have to log in which one we are going to remove for in this example what we have created we have created this 19 august and the default we have to check if we are in default or not how do we check it we need to click on azure active directory we'll check in overview and we'll see the primary domain is 19 august 2023 on microsoft.com 
when I purchased the Microsoft subscription, that was the uh, initial domain which I purchased, this one which I have already logged in. So I do not have any account with this. I just discuss with you verbally how the testing scenario works. So I'm going to delete the tenant. I'll choose this 19 August and I'll click on delete. Okay, uh, when we click on delete, we have some checks. We have to check everything. If everything is satisfied, then we can click on delete. But right now, as we can see, we have this error, which says Microsoft Azure subscription, and which is assigned with my Azure subscription, the one which I purchased. So once we have to give a permission that delete the Azure resources, then it will allow me to delete this tenant. Okay, so for that, we need to click on get permission to delete Azure resources. Testing one at learn cloud 827 dot on Microsoft.com can manage access to all Azure subscription and management group in that in this tenant. So I'll click on yes, this is what I wanted. And I'll click on save. All right, looks like it has been updated. Let me click on back. Let me refresh it. It should be now. Everything is checked. Okay, let me go back quickly. I'll click on home. Azure Active Directory. Manage tenant. And I'll click this one, the one which I just created. I'll click on delete. So you can see everything is checked now and we are good to go to delete this tenant. Let me hit on delete. All right, we got the message successfully de deleted tenant. Okay. Let me refresh it and I must be getting some error. Okay, I have the error as expected because the tenant which we just created, which was already on default state and that has been deleted. The token has been revoked by Azure. And now if I try to sign in again, it won't allow me. Oh, as expected, not allowing me to do that. Do that. Okay, I'm going with a new page. Let me close all the tabs. I'll log in again portal.azure.com and I'll log in with my account which I already created previously the one which I was using initially this is the account which I showed in the beginning of the video ask me later Azure directory it is allowed me to log in if I click on manage tenants, only one account we have. All right, looks like I've covered everything which we have discussed so far. And on the next video, we will see how to add custom domain in Azure. Thank you very much guys for watching this video so far. If it is really helping you, please give it a thumbs up on this video. And if you really like this video, please share with your friends. Thank you very much once again. We'll meet you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.